This is the Football Radio Show Sunday Six Pack. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Six Pack where we crack open six of the tastiest stories in the NFL. <sighs> delicious. Yeah, man. Week it seems like every week, dude, is getting better and better. <laughs> week six, no exception. Number yep. six. All right, let's get it started, Casey. We'll take it back to Thursday night where it was the Philadelphia Eagles at the Carolina Panthers. This was a good one. Eagles win. 28 to 23. Yeah, a couple NFC powerhouses there in Carson Wentz, dude. This guy is playing lights out. Awesome. Three TDs on Thursday. That's seven over the last two weeks. And that Eagles defense really getting it done, too. They picked Cam three times. Despite all that, here's the Panthers with a drive to potentially win the game. Fourth and one. Cam does a worm burner. Nope. Bounces it off the turf. No good. That's a wrap on the Panthers and the Eagles improve to 5-1. and one. Very impressive. And the Panthers have got to find a ground game. Anyone not named Cam, nine yards rushing. Ooh, Number five. Brutal. All right, up next is Chicago Bears at the Baltimore Ravens. And the Bears win in overtime, 27-24. to 24. Yeah, this was an awesome Troops. game. <laughs> oh, this was an awesome game back and forth. We'll go back straight to the fourth quarter, where it was Amos with a 90-yard pick six. That put, the, that, that put the Bears up by 11 with about five minutes left. Seemed like it was a done deal. But no, the Ravens rally back, 50-yard field goal, and then a 77-yard punt return followed by a two-pointer. Ties this puppy up. Troops! It's in, it's in over, troops is coming. It's in overtime. Big day for Howard. 167 yards rushing, 53-yarder late in the game. Really busted it open for him. And Trubisky, a modest day for Troops. Touchdown pass. And the game win for Troops, his first win in the NFL, man. Now, Troops! <laughs> and he just wants to play the AFC North every week. Yeah. The Bears 2-0 against those teams. All right. Troops! All right, Number moving forward. Four. Up next, it's the Green Bay Packers at the Minnesota Vikings. Man, Vikings win this one 23-10. But that's just part of the storyline, Casey. Yeah, unless you were out with the family all day or don't have a TV, radio, computer, laptop, cell phone. <laughs> you might not know. Carrier pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, he goes down, broken Ouch. clavicle in the first quarter. Ouch. Brett Hundley comes in. We know this cap from UCLA. Yep. Now he knows how good that Minnesota defense is. Yeah. Three picks on the day. Overwhelmed. No run game for the Packers. And it looks like they're probably going to be without Rodgers for the rest of the yep. season, man. And a worst nightmare is true for Packer fans. And now the Vikings, dude, Yeah. ready what? to run with this division. No, yeah. The, the Packers knew you could just rely on – on Rodgers to carry the team. Not now. Not now. And look at this Vikings team really putting it together despite the quarterback injuries that they've had as well as losing Dalvin Cook, the young running back. Vikings playing some good football. Wow. All right, three. up next, it was our Los Angeles Rams yeah. in Jacksonville to take on the Jags. And the Rams get it done on the road, baby, 27-17. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. A battle between two unlikely three and two yeah, teams right? <laughs> uh, heading into this one. But this was a good football game, too. Fast start, 103-yard kickoff return for the Rams. Cooper, get this thing going. Answered on the very next play by Fournette with a 75-yard yeah. wow. run. Uh, and let's move towards the fourth quarter as the Rams are trying to p protect a seven-point lead. They get the football back. Their defense is stout. They get it back. They need to drive, and they're able to get a long drive, grind out some clock, yeah. and put three more points on the board. Awesome finish for this Rams football team, dude. Yeah, they get a scores, multiple scores out of the, you know, they block a punt and the, right. the return. And, man, they're sitting there four and two on top of the – the NFC West. Dave, but I see you sparkling Give over there. Man. Want to double dip. Dip. <laughs> All right, what about our Los Angeles Chargers? They were in Oakland to take on the Raiders, and they win 17-16. to Man, I'll tell you what. Uh, this was a tough game. They bottled up Marshawn Lynch to some degree, yeah. uh, but Melvin Gordon had himself a pretty nice day. But it came down late as the Chargers were trailing by two, got the ball inside their 10. Phillip Rivers able to orchestrate a game-winning drive. Cue the it. devastation. <laughs> Ready to set up for that game-winning field goal. Eh, it's so difficult. But they finally come out on the right side of a last-second field goal. The Chargers hang on and get an easy uh, finish, finally. It is a chip shot, but that doesn't mean anything for the Chargers. <laughs> they made it through the uprights, and they finally got a W. That's, uh, that's a good sign for this Chargers football team. Yeah, don't look now, but our L.A. Chargers have won two in a row. That's right. Actually, four in a row in the loss column for the Raiders. The Raiders. Oh, boy. That is brutal, but you know what's not brutal? Winning free stuff. Yeah. And every week we're teaming up with skinit.com to give away a free skin 
or a case, and we heard your pain, your suffering out there. So this week, dude, Jets Fan Island is the winner of our free Skinner case. He's going to get that. Dave, tell the other peoples how they can get involved. Yeah, just go ahead and follow at Skin It and follow at Football RS, and then go ahead and retweet our tweet like crazy, and you are in business. Yeah, and if you don't win, you can still use the FRS20 code. That's going to save you 20% on all your NFL skins and cases. Hey, you can still be a winner. Right, even Jets fan. <laughs> even Jet fan. <laughs> All right, up next, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Kansas City Chiefs. This was an awesome football game from the afternoon slot. Steelers come away with a big win, 19-13. to Yeah, dude, Chiefs defense, me, Mr. Le'Veon Bell, 179 yards on yeah. the ground, was dominating, dude, just slicing through that defense. But move this thing to the fourth quarter, dude. Chiefs down 12-3. They got a fourth and goal. Could kick the field goal right there. Right. Instead, Andy Reid decides to go for it. They don't get it. And then later in that game, after a couple scores, they find themselves down by six. Should have been three. 19-30. In the way. <laughs> if they got that field goal, they'd been down by three. Instead, they have to go for it on fourth and 18. They don't get it. And the Steelers hold on for the win, dude. Wow. Take the points. Yeah, take the points. We saw it all day. Take the points, man, and the last undefeated team goes down. The Chiefs take their first loss of the season. Wow. Number Brutal. one. Uh. All right. It is time for total fantasy domination. <laughs> All right. We'll get this thing started, Casey, with your guy, Kirk Cousins of the Washington Redskins. Captain. 356 yards and three touchdowns for Kirk Cousins. Take the running back, Dave. Go ahead. Oh, yes. I like this. This one goes to Melvin <laughs> Gordon. 150 total yards and two touchdowns for the Chargers star running back. Awesome. And Antonio Brown of the Steelers, dude. He had that sick 51-yard oh, touchdown. Go back Miller. and look at it if you didn't see it. He had 155 yards and a TD on the day. And I'll go. I'll, I'll go Gronk. Gronk it up, baby. 83 <laughs> yards and two touchdowns in that victory over the Jets. Dave. Final thoughts on week six, brother. Dude, I'll tell you what. The Falcons blow a 17-point lead. Man, Falcons scraped away a couple of early wins. Or where would this Falcons team be right now? Do they let big leads slip away? Mm. That's unfamiliar it's, yeah. to me. And, dude, from. terrible officiating on the day. We talked about those Jets. They got a terrible call. Austin Safarian Jenkins should have been a score. Yeah. And then in the San Francisco-Washington game, a terrible pass interference call on Pierre Garçon. Yeah. That took away any chance the yeah. uh, the Niners had to potentially kick the game-winning field goal. Terrible officials. <laughs> but the Niners did see enough out of Beathard uh, in this football game to go ahead and name him the starter moving forward. The Beathard era has begun. We'll see what they got. Just in time for my Cowboys. <laughs> and old faces and new places. Adrian Peterson's debut in the desert for the Arizona Cardinals. Just 134 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, you just need to give him the ball, Casey. That's all. <laughs> give him AD, the baby. damn AD. ball. Hey, go ahead and subscribe to the Football Radio Show YouTube channel. You can catch all these videos. Like us and comment below. He's Dave. I'm Casey. We're out of here.